Hi everybody. Raymond went home this morning. That was so sad. We have so many more records to show, so I'm gonna try and get that going for you today. We've got my creepy clown pin from um, Steve Madeira. It was Bowling Green One. Uh, I love my pin. <laughs> I put it on every one of my hats. I just adore it. Creepy clowns, he knows. Every year he brings me a creepy clown something. And I think that's so fabulous. So I know for a fact that Raymond is more than half home, halfway home already, which is really good. It's kind of like um, comforting to know that he's almost there, right? Uh, so I'm going to show you some of the other things I got. There's going to be a lot of stuff, guys. I don't know if I have the music too loud. We're listening to Spellbound, the classic film score by uh, Nicholas Rosa. You know, Spellbound, awesome. I have some of this on 78. It's just amazingly beautiful. Oh, amazing. All right, we got a long way to go, guys. Okay, let's do eBay first. I got um, Dark Shadows. Beautiful stuff. I have it somewhere, but I couldn't find it. I was going crazy. I know Craig the Record King gave me this record, but I cannot find it, so. I got, I got one on eBay. And a, a ra very, very rare, limited pressing, The Manson Family Sings, Songs of Charles Manson. Beautiful. A limited edition of 999 records. And this one is on beautiful white vinyl. Amazing stuff. Very, very psych. Very crazy. Uh, at the, oh, here's something Raymond brought for me. Uh, a very old little mimeographed recipe book called Italian Recipes. Beautiful. He knows I love antique uh, and, oh, and vintage cookbooks, right? Uh, he also brought me, this is so fun, he brought me two beautiful boxes. Oh, they're really interesting the way that they seal. Beautiful big boxes like this. They have um, a latch seal and they have a little knob on the end to pull them out from a record cabinet. And these are all vintage standards. Gorgeous standards. Look at that. And the condition of these records is beautiful. And I had made uh, a standard uh, adapter a while back, so I can actually play the. It's really beautiful. Oh gosh, we got so many things over these last four or five days. Uh, we went to an estate sale. Uh, on the first first day, I think no second day, second day. Can't remember. I can't keep track. It goes so fast, you know. I got the art of cooking and serving, 1929. Isn't that beautiful? And inside there was uh, a little um, to Claire from Irene, 1930. So book is. Uh, Copyright 1929, beautiful cookbook for my vintage cookbook collection. Uh, at the antique photograph show, I got so many things, but this is another thing that Bowling Green One gave me uh, as a gifty. Beautiful old classic uh, image. Everyone knows this image, but this, what's cool about this is that it's a vintage oversized postcard from the Edison National Historic Site. It says it right up top. Beautiful. Oh, it's so sweet. Thank you so much, Steve. That and my creepy clown, I love them. 
Uh, we picked up, of course, all the all the good stuff that's coming up, like uh, the vinyl record show in Astoria, New York City record sh record and CD show. I'm gonna make Skeety take me to that one for sure. Uh, Blue Bluegrass's New Greed, Elmore, Saving Music Magazine. We got these for free at the show. Uh, at the Montclair Book Center, I got this. The Tombstone Tourist. All musicians in this one. We can, we can tour the country and stop at famous people's graves. Famous musicians' graves. Very beautiful. Montclair Book Center on that one. Uh, Merry Christmas Carols, beautiful little record with picture sleeve. Uh, what else? We got Contemporary Music Magazine Downbeat. Uh, this is a 78, May 18th, 78 edition with Frank Zappa on the cover. And you know I'm a Zappa freak, so that was so beautiful to get. We got that at the phonograph, the record show. Um, when we go to the um, parking lot show, where all the antique photographs are, about a block away, there's a regular record show that's always there at the same time. And uh, I did remember last time, April, when I was freezing and start to rain, I went over to the regular record show. Well, uh, me and Raymond stopped there after the antique photograph show, and I was able to find that Zappa issue of downbeat beautiful uh i think everything else here i'm going to show you is from the antique phonograph show and uh i guess so many things i'll probably go on and on and on um it was really fun voices from the past i've gotten these from charlie before but this one is so fun because it's Phineas T. Barnum, and you know my love for the circus. So this is a uh, uh, this is uh, about Barnum. Very very fun, beautiful. With with sleep with original sleep. I got a little wonder Jolly Cooper Smith. He threw this in with this one. This is Tramp Tramp Tramp. The boys are marching on Pied Piper. Beautiful. I love the Pied Piper stuff. I got that, that, the little wonder, and another Pied Piper for a dollar. So. Alright, at the Antique Phonograph Show, both the parking lot show and the main show, we got on Red Vocalion, High Brown Blues. Beautiful. We got a tiny little, we got a nine inch Emerson. Uh, this is really funny. Thippin' Thider through a straw. <laughs> That's exactly what it says. Beautiful nine inch Emerson, very beautiful. We got uh, Girl of My Dreams by Jean Austen on Victor Stroll. I mean, a near mint copy. You know, me and Girl of My Dreams, my favorite song in the world. I, I have just about every every version of it. Except for Glenn Gray. I can't find the Glenn Gray version. It was actually the Glenn Gray version that I first heard on the movie um, Angel Heart. But that uh, version, Glenn Gray's version, continues to evade me. So... I buy every version of it that I ever see. All right. This is an Aeolian Vocalion. This one is Christmas Morning, Kitty's Dance, and uh, Christmas Eve, Kitty's Patrol. This happened to be a vertical cut. I mean, I can play a vertical cut, but we didn't know that until we looked it up. I did not know Alien Vocalion did vertical cut records. And this one is a vertical cut. We played it on a regular phonograph and we are like, we couldn't hear it. And then we looked up, uh, we researched a little bit about Aeolian Vocalion and they did, before 1916, do vertical cut. So, 
I'll have to play that on a vertical uh, player. It was very strange because I've had a lot of Aeolian vocalions in the past that I could play on, you know, on lateral players. It was very strange. I never even knew they did uh, vertical. All right, we got a Victor Scroll. This is Johnny Johnson and his Statler Pennsylvanians. It goes like this. And George Olson and his music doing the raccoon. Doing the raccoon, one of my favorite 20s tunes ever. Uh, we got Little Richard, The Girl Can't Help It. A song that John Waters used in um, Female Trouble. Just love that. I think I have it on 45, but now I have it on 78 too. Uh, Selvin's Dance Orchestra, Red Aeolian Vocalion, Do You Ever Think of Me? Beautiful. Now see, that is definitely a lateral cut. Very unusual to find a vertical cut. I had no idea. Now I know. Say It While Dancing. This is beautiful. The Glance Orchestra, Grey Gull. I've got so many records to show, guys. <laughs> uh, we got another great gull, My Melancholy Baby by Arthur Fields. Beautiful. <laughs> Lady of the Evening, played by the Montmartre Orchestra. Uh, Red Vocalion. This is uh, one of the slideshows that I did of our vacation. It has this as a soundtrack. Very fun. Uh, Where We Never Grow Old by John Ryan. Beautiful gray gull. Gorgeous. Never Grow Old. It was always a favorite of mine from uh, by the uh, Carter family. Their version is amazing. This is more hymn-like. Theirs was really, really cool. Theirs was, I, I bought it because I loved that song by the uh, Carter family. Luniverse, Flying Saucer, Part 1 and 2. I have this already, but I always buy it when I see it. Because the first time I heard this was from my mother's 45 case. She had the, uh, the 45 of uh, Buchanan and Goodman's Flying Saucer. First time I heard it, loved it immediately. I said, this is the most bizarre record I've ever heard. And uh, so I did find it on 78 before. And now this was a nice copy. Bought it again. Just in case. Conqueror, Who Said I Was a Bomb by Worry Willie. Beautiful record. Me and Raymond played that the other night. We got a Janet uh, by Walter C. Peterson. Red Wing, My Little Girl, Chuck in the Straw. And the other side is Over the Waves. Very beautiful, Janet. Janet is a beautiful label. Uh, Broadway Blues on Alien Vocality. Very beautiful. Who's that by? Uh, Melody Men. Gorgeous. Uh, we got an Ardo record. Um, this one is Alice Blue Gown uh, by the Ardo Dance Orchestra. I, I love the Ardo label. I've, I've really not seen it before, so I was very intrigued and I had to grab that. On Musicraft, we got Red Ro on the Red Robin series for children. Happy Time Team. Beautiful. Um, very interesting. Uh, I bought it for the record label, Gilt Edge. This is the Cecil Boogie and I Wonder by Private Cecil Gann. Beautiful. Gilt Edge Records. Very thick. Very, very thick shellac. Uh, another copy of Haunted House Blues and Eve's Droppers Blues by Bessie Smith. I have another copy of Haunted House Blues, which I won in the Knox auction. But I like to have, I'd like to, I, I was very happy to find another because my, my Knox version is in better shape. So I can play this one and preserve that one, which is really fun. One of my favorites. We got TV Blues by Victoria Spivion. Okay, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, perfect, 21 Years by the Carson Robeson Trio. Very fabulous. Another Janet. Uh, this is the Johnson's Orchestra. Take it from me, Medley. Isn't that beautiful? I love the Janet label. 
uh, Paramount. This is this is really lovely. This is uh, "Open Up the Gates to Dixieland" by the J.C. Beck's Orchestra. Look at that. And the condition of this Paramount is breathtaking. Just gorgeous. Uh, on Oriole, Morton Downey doing Cheek to Cheek, one of my favorite songs ever. I have it by um, Fred Astaire, but I'm thinking, I think Morton Downey's might be a little bit earlier. I'm not sure, but let me tell you something. It's a beautiful song. We, me and Raymond played this this morning before he left, and both of us had it in our head. We couldn't get it out of our head. Very, very fun. Also on OK, this is beautiful, it's a Christmas record. One side is Snowflakes by Ernest Hare, the other side is on the old bobsled by the Shannon Four. This is awesome. Hopefully it will be on the next uh, Christmas CD. I'm on my way home by the WMCA broadcasters and I never knew what the moonlight could do by the Broadway bellhops. Another harmony, love the harmony label. Another harmony. We got uh, the Harmonians. Where'd you get those eyes? When I listen to this song, another one that sticks in my head all day. Beautiful. Uh, Vocalion. Uh, Red Vocalion. Somehow I'm always to blame. <laughs> by the Ambassadors. And an Orange Grove in California by the Bar Harbor Society Orchestra. Uh, one of my favorite orchestras out there. Beautiful Radiax, The Pickwick Club Tragedy by Bob Thomas, backed with Floyd Collins' Fate. Very beautiful. Uh, keeping out of mischief now, Chuck Bullock and his Levy Loungers. Beautiful. We got Golden Slippers by Vernon Delhart and Carson Robeson. A perfect copy. We got uh, Nobody Else Can Love Me Like My Old Tomato Can by Irving Kaufman. <laughs> How beautiful. Red Vocalion. We got Harmony, Five Foot Two, Eyes of Blue, Billy Wayne and His Orchestra. Gorgeous. Uh, Italian Christmas, Novena di Natale. And the other side has Pit Pius X speaking. Very fun. Uh, the Gay Be Glide by Princess Orchestra in Columbia. Back with Red Pepper Rag. Beautiful. Then we got the Bum Song by Jack Kaufman on Challenge. You know, I love the Bum Song. Alright. We went to a little thrift store that is relatively new. I wanted to take Raymond in there. And I found these. It's up in... Almost by Tawaka. I found on the Good Ship Live. I found all these dance records. This is like Russell Records on the Good Ship Lollipop, which is a tap record. And it has a little instruction book with it for the teacher. Me and my shadow acrobatic, also with the book. And then we got a ballet exercise record with bar work. Very fun. Then I found Sounds Around Us, a little book, a book set with three records, all in perfect shape, Around the House, so fun. We have Around the House, we have Around the Town, Around the Farm, very, very, very fun, beautiful set. So anyway, that is the, sh the records from the Phonograph Show. Uh, there's a lot of stuff a lot of other stuff that I got that was non-record. Uh, too much to show in one video. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that is it. I will talk to you very, very soon. I'm very sad that Raymond has uh, gone home. Our time together went very fast. I hope you're all having a magical, mystical, musical Monday. I will talk to you all very soon. I love you all. Bye.